This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Jackie Warrington with me from the Lombardi Fair. You are the advertising director. Welcome back to FYI. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for having us. You had your, your fair on the long weekend in August. How did it go? Not too bad. Uh, you know, uh, it was a lot of work. It always is. Uh, we have a great volunteer base that uh, put on these events. And uh, all the smiling, happy families makes it all worthwhile. And I mean, a fair like the, this, the, this size, I mean, you're, you're probably working on next year's already, right? Just about. Yes. We will be, uh, once we get the barn dance and the rodeo behind us, we'll start strategizing for the 2024 Lombardi Fair. I mean, speaking of the barn dance and the rodeo, you've taken on two big events as well, too, and those are coming up. Yes, we uh, somehow ended up back to back, but it's going to be well worth it and great time at both events. Yes, your, your barn dance, that's a, a regular annual event. You've been going doing that for a long time? This is our eighth annual barn dance uh, this coming Saturday. Um, HIPAA beef dinner, baked potatoes, homemade baked beans, coleslaw, and of course desserts. And uh, the dinner is $35. Um, there's live auctions, silent auctions. And if you only want to come for the dance, come on in for $20 uh, at the gate at uh, after 8 p.m. And okay. uh, we have a uh, double backpack with us this year that put, always put on a great show. All right, and that would be September 16th for anybody watching. It's September 16th. Yes. And your next big event, though, the Pro Rodeo. Let's talk about this. This is the first time you've taken, the, uh, the fair has taken on this event. This is a first time event for the Lombardi Egg Society. Um, it's been a lot of work, sorry. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think it's going to be worth it. Uh, Black Creek Rodeo um, has been doing this for quite a some time now. Um, they uh, have done uh, Ormstown, Pembroke, uh, Metcalf, and different fairs, so, or uh, locations rather. Um, so uh, we were lucky to be approached uh, because of our property that we have. And uh, we're very excited to have them as the uh, last event of the Kubota Pro Series for the season. So uh, this is all for the money. There you go. And like some of the people that are going to be competing in here are going to be able to move on to another event as well. Yes, that is my understanding. So uh, there'll be the same events. So like steer wrestling, bareback riding, team roping, bull riding, stuff like that. Um, there'll be the same events both days, both the Friday and Saturday, but it'll be different participants. And those people, um, these are all for points. And then they'll move on to the finals for the big prizes. Now it's going to take two days of a two day event to be able to get people through all the competitors through. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I'm sure. They, um, from what I understand, they have a great, um, great show. They've always been sold out. So we're aiming for the same s scenario here. Uh, tickets are moving. So uh, good. definitely. Good. Yes. So we're talking uh, Friday, September 22nd and then Saturday, September 23rd. Yes, and gates for both days open at five. The rodeo starts at seven. Uh, tickets for both rodeos are $38 each. Like I said, there's different participants uh, each day. Uh, some people decide to come one day or another. Some people come for the entire weekend because you never know what you're going to see at each event. That's right. That's right. And you've got an after party going on as well on Saturday we night. We do. We have a great after party with Eastbound of Bytown, uh, an Ottawa band. They're fabulous. We had them at the Lombardi Fair this past year. Uh, past August. Uh, so they're going to be playing for us in the barn after the rodeo. So about about 9, 930. Um, and it's $20 to get in. And there is a cash bar there. And uh, just come on in and have a few drinks and have some fun. Excellent. Excellent. Now, can you speak a little bit about being on the board for the fair too? Like how long have you been doing that? I have been indirectly involved for about 16 years. And well, maybe even longer than that. Um, and fully engrossed in the board for about 14, 15 years and it, it takes, as, it, as a director. It, it takes a lot of work to put a fair together. And I guess that's, I keep wanting to make this point when I talk to people who, who plan these fairs out, it's not something you do the month before. It's a year no. long. Yeah. Yeah. You learn it, from the, it does a lot. yeah, you, you learn from the fair that you're, you're, you're holding right now to make next year's better or different or whatever too. So it, it, it exactly. is exactly. 
it's a big endeavor. So we have a board of directors that about, that consists of about 16 people. So those are our primary, but then we have, and they're all volunteers. Mm -hmm. None of us get paid. We do this for the love of our community. And, uh, and then we have other volunteers that branch along with us to uh, help out where we need it. So it is solely put on by volunteers and it is a lot of work. But uh, like I said, we do it for the love of our community. And you're so lucky to have it on a long weekend too. You're lucky, we're lucky, everybody that attends, it's a three day, well, actually four day because uh, Friday, no, Saturday, we Saturday. moved it to three day. You did? We moved it to three day uh, several years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we were finding the Monday um, just with the expenses of putting things on. Um, it just the 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 guests versus the payouts yes. for the Monday um, to bring in the entertainment because all of these things cost money. It just wasn't worth it, and it also gave us the volunteers a chance to clean up the property and have a little bit of a rest. Uh, because you all work, you work too. You have to go back to work. Um, yeah, there's a few of us that still work full time. Yes, so that's uh, right. this, this, uh, this is our other full time job. That's right, eh? that's right, that's right. So once again, uh, you do have a barn dance coming up on September 16th and uh, your pro rodeo, that's September 22nd, 23rd. How do people get tickets to these? So tickets are available online through Front Door Plus. Uh, if you go to our website, uh, www.lombardifair.ca, there is a link directly to the website where you can purchase tickets online. Or you can, in Smith Falls, you can stop at RCL Automotive, Mr. Gas on Highway 15, 10 towards Carlton Place, Valley Custom Cutting, or Dodds and Irwin in Perth, and uh, Elgin Bowling in Elgin, and the Butcher Shop in Brockville. They've all been fabulous supporters in helping us sell our tickets and get our name out and stuff like that. So any of those locations ha do have tickets. We do have dry camping for the weekend available for $50. So you can come in on Friday and enjoy all the festivities, the rodeo, the dance, enjoy yourself, kick back, relax, and not have to worry about driving home or anything like that. Oh, that's great. That's great too. Now the dance on the, the 23rd. Now, can you just go to that, the part of the after party? Absolutely. Yep. If you just want to come to the dance, come on down about nine, nine 30. It's $20 at the gate. And uh, we have nice cold, I see beverages and of course the live band uh, Eastbound of Bytown. That sounds like a fun time. Sounds like a fun time. Well, thank you very it's much for joining us once I'm again. Looking forward to it. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. These fall events are so nice, that's for sure. Yeah. They're not, you know, in the middle of the heat or anything like that. It's just nice, especially yes. the outdoor things, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thank you for jo joining us again. Jackie Warrington from our Lombardi Fair. You are the advertising director on the board of directors. Thanks for joining us and uh, let's go out and yeehaw. Ha <laughs>